Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today I'm going to finally talk about how to actually break into the 36 eggs a day diet. Now I have received many questions from you since the videos that I made, uh, especially uh, got, I've been getting questions like, oh Golden Era, how do I, um, start? do I basically start with 36 eggs a day from day one or from week one? Or do I go uh, through it slowly? Do I increase the, the intake of the eggs slowly? Um, what are the supplements that you take? Um, how should you cycle it? Do you just then continue, etc., etc.? Let's go through all these questions. So, um, as mentioned, the uh, the questions came mainly from these two videos. Uh, I introduced the 36 eggs a day uh, diet and basically uh, went through Vince's claim that the three dozen eggs a day diet was better than steroids. Um, I think that video got now like 7,000 views. So thank you. Uh, the second one, I began to address how Vince actually recommended one had the 36 eggs a day diet. And that was using his Vince's uh, special shake. Um, again, that's uh, shown in this video. And uh, I'll briefly talk about the shake again and the plan as to how to incorporate this uh, from where you are, from, from, from the very start. So, as mentioned in that second video, uh, Vince incorporates this shake, which contains a dozen eggs, and he incorporates it in a diet called the Hormone Precursor Diet. And the way you actually, uh, I guess, get to 36 eggs a day is through progressive increase in egg intake, that is. So that, that basically means that you've got to build up your egg intake, that is a consumption of eggs, week by week. And then after you build up, you maintain the consumption of three dozen eggs a day for at least a month. So basically for four weeks straight. And then you work down again. And you follow this diet for eight weeks. Now let's have a look at the way uh, Vince basically recommended this diet be followed. Week one. Week one would involve three meals a day. Breakfast, lunch and dinner. For breakfast you would prepare one of Vince's special protein drinks and you would have this for breakfast. So let's make that clear. You, you make one of the only one of Vince's special protein drinks in week one per day. You only have one of them and you only have it for breakfast. And the, the uh, ingredients are there. 12 raw eggs, 360 mils of half and half, a third cup of protein powder, preferably milk and egg protein powder, and one banana for taste. Blitz it up, have it for breakfast, you're done. You can supplement with the listed supplements that Vince recommended. Um, basically, it's just multivitamin, a, a mineral tablet, uh, increase the zinc if the zinc content, content is not high enough, which it should be at least 30 to 50 uh, micrograms, I think, uh, per tablet. Uh, five alfalfa tablets, 10 kelp tablets. I think the kelp is very important, increases your metabolism. Uh, wheat germ or trigerm capsules. Otherwise, you can also have fish oil. Uh, he always liked RNA and DNA tablets. I'm not sure why. I'd have to look into that. But he recommended one with um, with with breakfast as well. Uh, also one HCL tablet, three digestive uh, enzyme tablets, three lysine tablets, and three multiglandulars. This would be the supplements for breakfast alone. I mean, that's crazy, Vince. That's crazy. Um, and after this, you would have lunch, of course, which would be a pound of meat with salad, and dinner as well, a pound of meat and salad. Both meals with the same supplements. That's week one. Very simple. Let's go through the rest of the diet plan. So let's have a look at the diet plan. Once again, I'll just quickly recap week one. You would start your breakfast off with Vince's special protein drink and follow that with a lunch of meat and salad. After this, you would follow the dinner with a meat and salad um, dinner. Of course, you would also include supplements. So this brings you to week one where you would be having a special protein drink, a meat and salad lunch and a meat and salad dinner per day for week one. Week two would follow and here 
you would increase in this week your protein drink intake per day. Again, you would start off with a Vince's special protein drink for breakfast, a meat and salad lunch. Here, in between your lunch and dinner, you would have Vince's special protein drink as a snack and a meat and salad dinner. And you can see that each day now you are having two protein drinks per day on week two. And therefore, having started with week one with a dozen raw eggs with each drink, now uh, per, per day, now you're having two dozen um, uh, eggs per day on week two. Between week three and six, which is basically week three, four, five, and six, four weeks, you would boost up the Vince's special protein drink once again and have it for breakfast. That's a dozen. Followed by a meat and salad lunch. Followed by a second dozen, that is in the Vince's special protein drink. Followed by a meat and salad dinner. And finally followed by the third dozen of eggs in Vince's special protein drink. Bringing you over that four weeks, you'd be having three dozen eggs a day. In the last two weeks, week seven, you would, t uh, you would kind of ramp back down and do exactly as week two. And finally, week eight, you would do as week one and just bring the total down, uh, uh, that is the total of egg consumption down just to one dozen eggs a day. Very simple diet plan, um, not hard to incorporate, and that's basically the layout. Of course, you would include supplements uh, as listed in the previous slide. One other thing I have been asked about is carbohydrate intake during this particular diet. And because it is a high protein and high fat diet, with any of uh, Vince's high protein and high fat diets, he actually recommended that carbs be taken every third or fourth day. And so, for example, if you're following this diet uh, for the week, and then you're, and then you're obviously going to get carb cravings, uh, let's say you're going Monday, Tuesday, no carbs. On Wednesday, you would have carbs. Then you'd go Friday, sorry, Thursday and Friday, continue, you know, you'd continue as normal with no carbs. And on Saturday, you would also add an extra carb meal. The carbs, of course, should be a whole, uh, a whole uh, grain source, uh, such as oats, rice, potatoes, or some kind of a whole grain pasta. Quality carbs are needed. Uh, and again, only one meal on a Wednesday and a Saturday. The supplements that Vince also recommended be followed with this diet are uh, even more extensive, having 10 liver tablets every three hours. It's basically amino acids. Five yeast tablets with the protein drink. So with every one, every, every, uh, every single time you have a protein drink, you would have five yeast tablets. You would also be required to have four raw orchic tissue tablets before and after working out. For those of you that don't know what this is, this is basically dried testicles. And basically they have pure testosterone in it. Uh, you know, uh, there's also, uh, he also recommended taking six tryptophan and calcium tablets before retiring. You know what? You can do this if you want. You can follow this advice. It's not mine, it's Vince's. It's up to you. I'm not telling you to shove testicles down your throat. You can do it yourself if you want. And I'm not telling you to have three dozen eggs a day either. It's your choice. If you want to follow the diet as Vince recommended, it's laid out for you in black and white, in blue and white. I hope you've enjoyed uh, the, the uh, video. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. Leave me your comments. I always answer them, most of them anyway. And thank you for watching. Uh, this is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now.